What's up, Fat Kid Nation, and welcome to today's adventure, where we are back and ready to attack Pad Thai that's going to make me cry. So let me tell you about today's challenge. This is fairly new in Vegas, having been completed by only one other person in just under 20 minutes. Now, it has a 30-minute time limit. We do not have to eat the red chili or the peanuts or the bean sprouts. So without no doubt, I am leaving those out and just focusing on the shrimp and the steaming hot pile of nudes for this pad thai. Now there is a bunch of scrambled eggs inside that are trying to hide, but this overall looks like a very delicious challenge. Now, this is maybe my fourth time having pad thai, so we're gonna see what this all entails. But for today, since we toast shrimp, it is $65 if we lose, and it is $40 if you go with the chicken option, but let me tell you, I felt fancy, so I went with shrimp. And let me tell you, they didn't skimp. I am joined here today by a legend in the food challenge community, as you see, none other than Freak Eating, who was on Man vs. Food Nation and put a beating on a tri-tip sandwich way back in the day. And for today's challenge, I did have to ask him, what was this going to be like? Because Thai food is normally pretty far down, down on my list of foods to eat, and I've maybe had Pad Thai one, two, three times, definitely less than five. And for this challenge, he told me, hey, this, this is usually a little bit like a low men, but just spicier. But when we started getting into this challenge, he said, wow, this thing is thick. And I said, well, sounds like a very heavy D challenge to me because I am digging it. But I also did pick up a very big competitive advantage if we were to race, but who really cares, right? But in terms of overall eating the food, our dishes came out 10 minutes differential. So Nader got his food first and 10 minutes later, mine came out. Yet he had to wait for me to begin eating because that's what they asked. So I started this challenge off with my nudes hotter than hot. And let me tell you, they were steaming as you saw, but his was already on the cool down cycle. So my mind settled into a very delicious, enjoyable temperature. His were borderline getting cold. And when those types of sauces that are highly sugared and lots going on in there uh, get cold, it's like eating jello, they solidify. So this is gonna be an interesting finish to this challenge.
I gotta tell you, you know, I love supporting local businesses. I live on the opposite end of town, but this was definitely worth the drive. This place was delicious for my like third, fourth time being Pad Thai. It made me feel like I definitely missed out uh, without a doubt on eating more Pad Thai in my life. So I'm definitely gonna have to enjoy this more. But you know, overall, they haven't had too many challengers, which I am very surprised about because with only having to eat the noodles and the shrimp, I mean, six pounds of noodles and shrimp isn't too bad up on the list of competitive eating things to try to get down where a big burger sits heavy. Like this was pretty light for the most part, very delicious. And uh, we're gonna see how this one wraps up because Natter's not looking too good at this point. And I'm, I'm hoping he can get this job done. Otherwise it is $60 plus tax that we're gonna have to fork over if he doesn't win. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting nervous. I mean, as you see, I am doing pretty good with this, scraping up, you know, finishing up, doing a good job, few shrimp left, few nudes for the dudes, what can you say? But hey, Natter's making me a little bit nervous. Now, his style of eating is not the race car hair on fire that your boy Heavy Dean is known for. He is known for being calm, cool, and collected, eating at a steady pace throughout the challenge. There's been times that he has beaten me when we've eaten together because he just keeps going and going like the Energizer Bunny, and I just hit a wall, and I go back to the locker room. So I'm legitimately like getting nervous for him because, hey, we don't have that much time left, and there's a lot of food. So let me know down below if you think he's going to finish this one up or if this restaurant's going to be getting $60, which actually we found out it's, it's $65 if we don't hit this challenge. So let's do it.